Yeah, that's right. Norman officials tell me they have their work cut out for them. We're here in one of the hardest hit neighborhoods just off Highway 9 and 24th Avenue, where you can see it's just piles and piles of debris. The city has 12 miles of this to clean up. They hope to have everything cleaned up and back to order in two months. Piles and piles of debris line the streets of Norman. So there are lots of piles of debris this morning, so we have our work cut out for us. Monday marks day one of the city's cleanup effort following last week's tornado, a million dollar operation, about a sixth of the cost of 2020's ice storm cleanup. Now this is our 11th debris removal program in 15 years, so we're pretty good at this. Over the next four to six weeks, five trucks will span the 12 mile zone of damage, picking up what the tornado destroyed. We take a lot of pride in being able to help our folks out in, a, in their time of trouble. This is a difficult time for folks and having to figure out where to or how to haul the debris and where to put it is, is one less thing for them to have to worry about. The city created an interactive map detailing which areas will get help. They asked tornado victims to place debris curbside for easy access and to separate piles by material. There is vegetative debris, so trees, bushes, that sort of thing. The green stuff, we'd like to have that in one pile. And then there is the what we call the construction demolition, which is all the other things that come off a house or a building. Uh, we deal with both materials differently in different trucks. So we ask that they just separate those out for us. That helps a lot. If they co-mingle them, we just can't pick it up. Now cleanup started at 7 a.m. this morning and will go until 7 tonight. That will be the set schedule Monday through Saturday over the next six weeks. If you have a question whether or not you're in that tornado strike zone, we of course have included that map on our website.